we can talk about the rollback and mix. That was done because post-production had no mixing, video mixing or wiping in those days. When we did shows like The Good Life, I seem to remember doing it on back in the early 70s, because the studio had a vision mixer, obviously, and um, what we would do, there would be another machine, so you'd have three machines uh, downstairs in VT, two of them would be recording, because we always had a main and a backing, and you'd have another machine, which was the rollback and mix machine. Now what that would do, you'd come to the end of the scene, you'd stop, there'd be a costume change, or whatever it was, and if some sort of transition of time that they wanted to put an effect in, and the rollback and mix machine would go back beyond the last cut in that scene, run it in, and at the desired point, the director would cue the artist, and then the vision mixer would mix across to the live action. So then you had a tape recorded on your main recordings. You had the outgoing scene, and then you had the, the outgoing scene again with the new effect on it. So what you had to do was join the outgoing scene to the new incoming scene, and that's why we went back to a cut because it was virtually impossible in those days to make a join not on a camera cut because of the power sequence. So that was quite fraught. It was very limiting in as much as you had to make that decision there and then in the gallery. There was none of this, I'll rehearse it that way, rehearse it this yeah. way, try this, try that. None of that in the 70s. You did it and if it went, if the director at the time was happy, that had to be it, and that was it forever. You couldn't go back and do it again. That was um, just another little trick that, that happened in, in the 70s.